lifetime PGA and Champions Tour member, master instructor and educator who has helped over 300,000 golfers around the world. Author and writer Wally Armstrong's 50 years in golf are now distilled down into one main truth, that the golf swing is a circle. Beautiful. As you learn to swing the circle from Wally, golf will become fun and simple with immediate results. We know you will enjoy watching Wally bring this truth to life. I hope you've got a good concept of the circular swing around your body. Now we're going to get into seeing it because you have to have a good picture. There's a saying that if the mind can't conceive it, the body cannot achieve it, right? If you can't understand something and if you can't see it, then you're just not going to ever be able to produce it with your body. And that's why it's so important that you see the circle because that's what you're really going to trust when you go into feeling it and then to swinging it. Now let's just talk about this is a precisioned instrument. You know, I don't. It, it's a club, but you know, clubs are made to beat things. This this is has a specific design, and it's designed in a certain way. If you can see that in all your full swing clubs, the shaft comes where into the back of the head, right? No, none of your full swing clubs does the shaft go into the top of the head, right? It for putters. Why does it come in the top of the head for putters? because you want a pendulum swing, right? You're not talking about power. You're not talking about really speed. So you want more accuracy, but all of your full swing clubs, the shaft comes in the back. Now, the reason for that is that when this shaft goes around your body in a circular manner, the face should rotate around the shaft. That's why the weight's out here, see? If the shaft was in the top, then it would just do this, see? But you want the rotation, and this is what people don't understand, is that as I go back, see that face should open, see it going to the sky, and as I come through, what happens to it? It starts closing, see it revolves around the shaft. So this is what the golf swing should look like. See, that's a circle, that's a perfect circle up here, and around and the face rotates. Now one way I can really show you clearly what happens with that is with the use of my goalie hockey stick. You're really going to see it here because if I swing back now watch what happens to that surface, see? And then as I swing through what does it do? See it turns over and it goes like this. So if I take that circle and I keep going slowly and I bring it down lower See, now I haven't changed the circle at all, have I? But the face has just rotated around the shaft and that's why it's designed that way. So basically what we're talking about, we want you to see is that the golf club swings in a circle. It's designed that way. And if I use my hula hoop, I'm gonna really show you what that circle looks like. So I'll take my club and now I'm gonna put it underneath the hoop. And if I swing my hands around under the hoop, if my hands go in a circle, what happens to the club head? It follows, doesn't it? So this is basically, the design of the club is to match the circular swing around your body. And now what I'm simply gonna do is take this circle and I'm gonna tilt it down so that it goes lower and lower and lower. And now you can see if I just take my swing and go around the circle and through, perfect circle with the club head, where'd the ball go? It went straight. So the whole concept of swinging the circle is the better you can swing in a circle, the straighter the ball's gonna go. So you have to really think differently, don't you? So what we're talking about is creating a circle with the club head, and this is one of the little practice drills I like, is just to take a swing up high, feel the circle, put it down, and then just swing the circle. So I don't, don't even think about it. And that's what you should be doing when you're out playing. The body rotates and it orbits right around in a perfect circle, strikes the ball, and the ball runs into the hole. Now, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. Now, let's talk about centrifugal force because that's the big element that people miss in the golf swing. So if I take the ball, we start it down here and I swing it, slowly, where does it go? It's below the top, right? So the faster I start swinging it, where will the ball go? 
it will go up, yeah, it'll go up to find a 90 degree angle. In other words, it'll start, the faster I turn the inner core, the more the ball is going to go up like this, see? Will it ever go there? Okay, so what does that have to do with your golf circle? A lot, right? Because when you're swinging the golf club, and like Bobby Jones says that he used to think about the golf club head as like a weight on the end of a wire. Once you start that club head swinging, it's just going to go. And it's going to always try to find a center post. It's going to try to find a center post that it can go out 90 degrees on. And so that's why it's so important that you do get the right posture and, and stance. And we're, you know, we're going to get into that. But the main thing is to see that centrifugal force always works up and to a 90 degree. And the golf swing is just that. So when we start up here and we make a perfect circle, and then I tilt down a little lower and a little lower, keep my back nice and straight, bring the ball lower and lower. And now I have a perfect swing, one that is going back circular and all the way around perfectly circular. So that's what we want you to see. That's the picture that you should have in your mind when you play your golf shots. Now in the golf swing, see there should never be any up and down, right? It's just circular around. And here's what happens. If I've got my swing going in a nice circular pattern, what happens if I throw any kind of up and down linear motion into this? Watch. See, where is the energy going? It's going straight down into the ground, isn't it? So you, the energy needs to come around in a circle and come in to go square into the back of the ball. And this is what happens. People look down at the ball. As soon as they bend forward, your equilibrium from your ear, you look down on something, what's the natural tendency to do? Is to come up, see? And then as soon as you bring this up like this, see, now you lose your circular energy. So when you're doing swinging the circle, it's just a rotation. Your body matches the design of the club and also the centrifugal force of the club head swinging. So there shouldn't be any up and down motion in your golf swing. If you have that, then you're not swinging on circle and you're not going to swing the club the way it's designed to swing. And also there shouldn't be any backwards and forwards motion. See, that's linear also, isn't it? If I take my little club and I get down over the ball, now see, I can swing linear if I just bend forward like this. And now my circle is on line with the target. And then I just swing back through. And you can see I can hit it nice and straight. Hit a couple more here at that white flag out there. So I'm going to swing back on a line, through on a line, back on a line, through on a line, back on a line. Now look at that. Now are those straight? Yeah. And I may never stand up again. <laughs> <laughs> So there, see, there shouldn't be any backwards and forwards motion. And people get tricked because they see this face and they know that it's got to be square at the bottom to make the ball go, instinctively to make the ball go straight. So what tendency is happens with people is they go back on the line, they keep that face pointing at the line as long as they can, so you can really see it here, and then the wrists go like this. Almost every beginning golfer will get in this position because from here all I have to do is just throw it back down and it's square. And so you don't want this linear motion either. It's simply this circular motion around and through. The club face merely rotates around the shaft. It's almost like in sports, you have the hammer, you have the hammer thrower and the shot putter. And my wife and I had a chance to go to the Olympics in China. We showed up, first thing track and field, and it was the ladies shot put championship. And they'd get inside that circle and they'd put the shot put, use your imagination, and they'd go around and then they would push it forward and the world record's like something like 80 feet, 84 feet. But the hammer thrower is in the same circle, the same 16 pound ball, but what do they do? Centrifugal force, see, around, 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 and then they let it go. And how much farther do you think it goes? Four times farther because they've used centrifugal force and they've circled it out there. So that's the same thing in golf. You're not going to get power. You're not going to get accuracy. It's not going to go straight if you're trying to make it happen, if you're backwards and forwards and up and down. So you have to train yourself to think of a circle. Think circle and see it. Now there's a lot of power in that. Let's just imagine that uh, we have a helicopter here. This is the helicopter blade, okay? little baby helicopter. And we put a club head on the end of each blade. 
okay? And then we start this helicopter up with that club head on each end, right? This thing is going big time, fast. And then we tilt it down lower and lower and lower. And then one of the club heads runs into the ball. Where's it gonna go? Straight and right over that mountain, <laughs> right? <laughs> so see, at no point in time did this blade go backwards and forwards, right? Or up and down, see? And so that's the same thing with your golf swing. When you swing, see that club should go around and around. No up and down or backwards and forwards. So I hope that's giving you a really good picture because you can see it now. But let me give you a little bit more of a picture. I'm gonna go up here to show you a little what centrifugal force can do for power. I'm gonna take another little club. I'm gonna get down on my knees. I'm gonna make just a simple little circular swing through the ball, around and through. And you can see I can hit it out there about 200 yards. So where did the power come from? My legs? <laughs> this long shaft? It came from just a little bit of motion that I could make with a circular swing. So this is the kind of power that's available when you can swing circular and make your circle go back around and through. Now let's le lengthen it out a little bit now. And now I'm going to swing the same force. Very easy. Now that one disappeared in the clouds. About 240. Now what kind of a chance would I have of meeting the ball that square and hitting it that far and that straight if I took the club back and I started by lifting? See what's going to happen? As soon as I get this club weight going up, then it's going to pull my wrists and they're going to start going sideways. It's going to be really hard for me to get back on this circular pattern to come right into the back of the ball. So that's why people lose their power. They lift starting out. And then what if I go back on a line? What if I start back this way? See then, see where the club head's going? So that's why you can really see that if I just keep it circular, I got a lot better chance of returning that club face square to the hole with power and circular power right into the back of the ball. So it really doesn't matter you know, where the balls are, once I find my axis, in other words, my spine, that is the key thing. You get that spine set, you get the club shaft 90 degrees out there, see, from your spine, and you twist it around and through. It doesn't matter where the ball is. Even up here, it's way above my hands. That's, like, really long. Or up here, dead straight again. Or up here, Dead straight again, they're all about 20 feet apart. <laughs> or even the harder shot in golf, and that's when the ball is up above your waist with a tee shot. Uh, very difficult shot, but watch where this one goes. <laughs> there we go again. So, see, it's all finding that center post. It's taking the club, winding up, circling it back, unwinding and circling it through, and you keep your spine as the axis, see? That's the axis of that circular power. Now, I have a club designed that uh, will really illustrate that. How you like this one? <laughs> so what have I done? I've basically stuck the shaft into the back of the head. Now people always say, well, I'm a baseball player. I should be a horrible golfer. Well, no, you should be the best golfer because see, what I'm gonna show you shortly is that a baseball player should be the best golfer. If I just go back and through and hit this ball, where does it go? <laughs> Dead straight in a mile. <laughs> so work with me now. See, if I go circular, and then I bend down, I keep my spine nice and solid, and then I come down. Now that's not practical anymore, is it? Why? Because there's not enough meat to strike the ball, right? That's why you have the bend in the shaft. It all goes back to the design of the club, right? And the clubs today, good night, look at that face. That's why when you swing circular and the club face rotates around the shaft with these big heads, you can hit it a mile. I'll hit one for you here. I love this drill to just set up, take your swing, put it down, and knock it right out of the range. <laughs> no up and down, no backwards and forwards. Now a baseball swing, is probably the closest thing to golf. I was just kind of showing you, hitting the ball up high. And so really a baseball player 
when he sets up and swings, that's what he's doing. He is setting up to the ball, basically they just make a circle through the ball. Now wouldn't it be great if you could hit a tee ball, you know, you hit home runs every shot. But now a golf swing is just a baseball swing on a tilt. I'm going to demonstrate that to you. When you, in baseball, they have a big advantage over a golfer because a baseball player can keep his feet flat on the ground. What do they do with their shoulders? They preset them, right? What do they do with their wrists? They preset them 90 degrees, right? Right? So they're already here. Their feet are flat on the ground. Their hips are turned. Their shoulders back. Their hands are set. So all they have to do is swing through and knock it out for a home run. Now the only time when a baseball player goes linear is when? When does a baseball player go linear? When he does what? Bunts. Right? And the problem is, see, you have all these golfers. We have a whole generation of golfers, and they swing the club back, you know, and then they come around the ball and they try to push it straight, see? They take that push into the circle, and then it destroys all their power. So we have a whole generation of bunters. <laughs> bunters. So in essence, I'll give you one more picture because this is what this section is all about. It's about seeing it, right? Seeing it. So I've designed a, I call it my bat club. You can see what I've done is I've stuck a shaft in the end of a bat. And then, so this is what you should see. You should see in baseball, see, I'm making my circle up here. And then all I do is I just bring that circle down lower and lower and lower. And now I have a golf shot. That's why I like that little practice exercise up high, down low, let it go, and that's the way that I teach junior golfers how to play the game. In fact, my own son, Blake, when I taught him how to play golf, he was having a hard time hitting the ball. He would pick it up and chop, and I'm going, oh boy, this is crazy. I gotta learn how to teach him better. So I said, who's your favorite baseball player? And he said, Sammy Sosa. And I said, well, how does he set up? And he set up like this, you know, and got in his stance. I said, go ahead, play a shot now. Boom, he hit it a mile. <laughs> I thought, well, that's it, see? So that's how I teach juniors. I teach them to get up, set up to the ball. I teach them to get in their favorite baseball position and then send the ball out there and they can do it. So baseball is really a great way to see it. Now what we're ultimately looking for is a continuous flow of motion around your body that comes around, strikes the ball and then sends it out to the hole. So this is gonna be the picture that I want you to always have. It's the ultimate picture that you should have when you're trying to see in your mind what the golf swing is all about. Is we simply make our circle, we bring it down in front, now we go back and through. And you can see now that I'm generating a lot of club hit speed and then I can pop it. And uh, I think you can see the power that you can get yeah. by making a circular, powerful swing around this fixed axis, your spine. And that's what the circle is all about.